Hey guys, welcome to another vlog and I know I'm talking quiet. It's because it's 11 o'clock at night on Monday. We had a good weekend this weekend. Had some fun over at Hillmouth's house on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> forgot to grab the camera this morning. Uh, we didn't get anything done out in the shop today. Uh, we're officially starting part four, which is layering skeletons and wiring and you know finishing touches and the one thing I've been dragging on was the exit arch so I took the day out spent it down here downstairs and I know I probably just went dark you're seeing a silhouette because I got light behind me but I wanted to show you and we're gonna do this now I'm gonna look a little red it's a light shining right I don't know but it's because I've been working on that and it looks like it's glaring <laughs> <laughs> on camera it does at least but it's not uh, spent the day here we go that looks a little bit better uh, working on the exit sign we got the LEDs installed got them all wired up uh, so this is pretty much working now here let me get a light turned on we still got two things I need to do to it yet or three things actually one uh, I got to touch up the black paint. Two, it needs to be clear coated. But uh, third is the back side of it here where I wired up all the LEDs. I got to go through and get some uh, liquid electrical tape on all my circuits, which I'm just getting ready to do before going to bed. Uh, that, I got to get my table cleaned up. I got stuff all over the place from working on this. But uh, we did get things going today. And we got the arch all wired up. We gotta take a day out to get that done. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting started on the layering skeletons tomorrow too. So, but that's what part four is gonna be. <laughs> oh, hey, had a good night's sleep. Now we're out in the Dragon's Lair workshop. I uh, got the gates taken down, got the exit sign out here, and we still got the pillars. Now. First step for today, you'll notice I've got the airbrush out. Uh, I need to get in here. There's uh, some black touch-ups I need to do on the uh, exit sign. So I'm going to get that done. Also on the gates where I had the hooks at. Needs a little bit of touch-up here and there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the black touch-up done with that. Our next stage after that is I need to get the pillars and all the pieces outside and put together uh, I need to clear coat everything and uh, get everything clear coated the way I want to clear coat it I have to set everything up problem is I don't got room in the shop to really do it right so I need to set it up I'm going to set them up out here both the entrance and the exit all the pieces everything get them all set up then I'll go through and I can clear coat them out here only problem is, before I can set them up out here, I need to mow. <laughs> we fertilized last week and the grass is growing. So I'm going to have to mow. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to start out with, is I'm going to get the black touched up on the exit arch and the gates. And then while they're drying, I'll go out and mow. And then we'll start getting these all set up and you'll get an idea a better idea what these look like once they're set up at least better than what you got in the last one ah, talk about a mess <laughs> got the enter sign and pillars set up that section right there is about the only level section in the whole backyard here wonky camera angle go like that and i'd have to back up ah, okay we'll go back like this but it's about the only level section back here here where the drill is we used to have a sycamore tree and it's bumpy and unlevel and we had a hell of a time with those that pillar and it's not sitting exactly level level and the gates wide open because it want it's leaning back but we got the gates out here and the pillars and the arches i gotta get the liners in. i'm gonna fill them with water and i'm gonna leave them up over the weekend while we're gone and hopefully this one won't tip. That one won't, but this one probably will. <sighs> but uh, I need to have them set up and put together like this. 
so I can do the luring skeletons as well. So, <sighs> anyway, it's been a interesting time out here. Okay, guys, uh, you're getting another clip today. It's still Tuesday. Uh, went through and we got all the arches, exit and enter, uh, clear coated. And I also went and did a latching mechanism on the fence to help hold the fence shut. You know, and then we can, you know, it's just a little swivel that goes into a bar here. So, uh, we got a latch on the gates. I got those in. And I'm sitting here thinking about the learning skeletons. That's my next step. That's what I had planned for the pillars. I wanted to have a skeleton sitting here, swinging back and forth, you know, uh, holding a lantern. And I'm looking in here, and to do it, I'm gonna need to put a shelf in here to mount the motor, to mount the linkage, and then the pipe for the skeleton's gonna have to go up here next to this pipe and everything. And I'm thinking, the more I'm thinking about it, it's just too dang, narrow in here i don't like you know i can work out the linkage that's no problem but with the pipe having to go up here for the skeleton and everything the skeleton's going to be sitting more on the corner here going back and forth instead of off the front the way i want it so i'm thinking i'm going to do the design change i'm not going to do the luring skeletons i am however still going to do skeletons on top of each of the pillars because it needs something up there on top of the pillars and I've already got the lanterns I bought the lanterns I've showed you those so I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to going to a stationary mount the uh, skeletons holding the lanterns and stuff and it'll save a lot less on wiring too you know, because I've got to get in here. I got this here, which is the uh, L E L wire. I got to get that wired up. This is for the LEDs up on the enter. I've got to get that wired up and run. You know, that's all 12 volt. The uh, motors I bought are 110, so I'd have to uh, you know for the learning skeleton. So I'd have to run that in here too and drop it down. It just means another electrical cord I'd have to run out here. And I know I can order some 12 volt motors. I don't want the expense. I'm also thinking of time. Uh, we've been working on this project now, what, eight weeks? Six weeks, eight weeks, somewhere around there. And I'm not sure I'll be able to get the learning skeletons done this week. You know, we're doing the mech and everything for it. Which means this might spill into next week. And I've basically got four weeks left. Starting next week will be four weeks left. You know, before I start setting up my haunt. And I still have a walk-through mausoleum to build yet, which is another big prop. And that's going to take several weeks. So I think what I'm going to end up doing on this is I'm, I need to put a piece of plywood up top here. Uh, to frame this, you know, to cover this end. And then I think I'm going to rig up a bracket. And I am going to, I got several skeletons that we've taken apart. You know, it's, uh, we've taken the pelvis and legs off of. I'm going to get those out here and I'll mount, I'll mount a skeleton up here on top. You know, up here. And then mount the lanterns in it too. And see, that's something else too. With the lanterns and stuff on, having the skeletal skeletons moving, and whatever, uh, trying to get the armitage and everything set up for not only the skeleton moving back and forth, I'd have to reinforce the arms and everything, and there would be wiring involved with uh, with the lantern, with the eyes, you know, running the wiring. It's pretty involved. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I think it's going to be a several week process just doing those layerings. So, we're doing a design change. We're going to uh, switch over and just uh, mount some skeletal skeletons up there and focus on wiring, I think. Okay, I got the set dresser out. <laughs> yeah, you want to shower? <laughs> and all, and we were going over, I went through on the pillars and cut off a piece 
of plywood to fit the top uh, for the skellies to sit on. Now, we've got one sitting up there. Whoa, sorry, tripping over the dog. He's trying to help you uh, water. Yeah, but we got one up there, kind of in position with a lantern. And going over with a set dresser, what we've decided to do is each skelly that we put up is going to be in a different position. So I'm going to work on this one right now, get it set and going, and we'll get it locked into place and mounted up there permanently. So wanting to give you kind of an idea what we're going to do. Now on the eyes for the skull, I'm going to put some green LEDs in there to match with the enter portion. And I was looking at these uh, lanterns. Uh, they run off of three of the uh, AAA batteries, voltage and stuff. Comes out to about five watts. My power box is up to uh, five watts. So I think I'm going to convert these over to run off my power box. That way we're, we get, do away with the uh, batteries altogether. It's either that or I'm going to have to get in there, take the LED they've got in, the flicker LED they've got in there out and uh, put one of my flicker LEDs in that's powered for 12 volt. I'm almost thinking more about doing that. That way I can have everything running off a of 12 volt and make things a lot easier and quicker in the long run. That's something to think about while I'm working on this. But I wanted to show you what, we're, what we have planned for the skellies up on top. And I'm almost thinking having them stationary would be a lot better than uh, having them moving anyway. That's just too much going on up there. You can get the light, the skelly, the arch, and everything. Just too much. Hey, good morning all. Yeah, it's still morning, hasn't hit noon yet. Uh, figured I'd show you the progress that we made yesterday on the pillars. We got the entrance sign done. I'm hoping that's showing up because I've got a glare and I cannot see what's in the, uh, <laughs> in the uh, viewing window. But we got the uh, entrance uh, entrance area, you got the skellies and the lanterns up there. And I still need to go through and paint the armature. I gotta get some red, uh, green LEDs on these skeletons in their eye sockets and I need to wire up the, uh, the uh, light there. You know, so I got a little electrical work, a little bit of a paint to do. And we got that guy and we got this guy and i think that really does finish off the uh the entrance gate now today our project is these the end exit pillars i gotta get the skeletons up on here so i gotta get the armature made get the skeletons up skeletons up and into position you know final position get everything locked in and then I can do the same thing like I need to do with that, paint and wiring. <laughs> and hopefully we'll have these done by tomorrow. Fat chance, the way my day's been going. Well, we've showed you the uh, entrance, enter gates with the skellies on it. Set dresser has approved it. I just had her out here and she approved this. There's the exit. <laughs> Now I've still got two more steps I need to do on it. One, I need to run wiring, or I, you know, three steps actually. I gotta run wiring for the lights so the lights will come on. I gotta put LEDs in the eyes. And I gotta take these down and get all the armatures and everything painted. Which is my next step after lunch. Oh hey, we got the skeleton family in here off the pillars. And God, the top of those pillars look awfully bare without these guys. It's surprising how much of a difference these things make. Uh, we got the two from the exit and two from the entrance. My uh, job now is I got to get the skeletons all off the frames. And we've got to go through here. I got this steel rod going down here to support the arms needs to be painted white while the uh, wood post supporting the back of the skeleton I'm probably going to paint black along with the base and then also on the skeleton I got to drill out a hole here in the eyes eye socket for a red LED on the uh, ones that go on the exit green on the uh, on the uh, ones that go on the entrance 
and uh, get LEDs, LEDs popped in there. I've also did some battery checking on this. Uh, this thing runs off of 4.5 volts. It will handle 5 volts, no problem. So I've got to open these up, drill a hole into a candle, and attach a wire to the uh, battery compartment in there. And I can fish up and out the skeleton. <laughs> Uh, so I can get it hooked up to power as well. A couple hour project really shouldn't take overly long. Of course I'm saying that now and it'll probably take me a week to get it done. But uh, that's pretty much the last step. Uh, painting the uh, frame framework and running the LEDs. And then these will be done. I can permanently mount them. And then you guys will get a reveal video. You're not going to get it in this one. <laughs> Okay, I've got the skeletons off the armatures now, and I wanted to give them a uh, show you these. Uh, these two went on the inner enter pillars, or for the entrance gate, and they're just a real super easy, super cheap way of doing armatures for the skeletons. Uh, some of the more expensive ways you can do it, you can put a fitting down here for a pipe and actually thread the pipe up through the spine of the skeletons. This part here that I've got bent out to hold an arm, you can drill a hole in the arm and run, run all that right through the bones on the arm and out and what have you. It's a lot more work. <laughs> Takes a little bit longer and you gotta be a little bit more precise with it. Uh, but you know this way it's just a simple easy way while this one here, this is the uh, one for the pirate skelly and this one here is uh, for the uh, one on the entrance gate. It has the uh, lantern held outwards. I just did some L brackets down here to hold the 2x2 two two on. That's all I did. This one here and over on number one, same thing. Just an L bracket. I only put one screw in and that's allowing me to uh, pivot the bar. I can position the uh, skellies. You know, if I want to bend them forward or what have you. Real simple, real easy. So, but now I need to get in. I'm going to get my airbrush out. I think I'll use my airbrush on most of this. Uh, I've got to paint the uh, stick here and the uh, wire coming out. And that's just threaded rod, by the way, is all it is. And I got to get those kind of painted. Uh, the threaded rod's going to get painted white. And I'll probably paint the stick black. You know, during the day it will show up, but at night when it's dark out, it'll blend in. You know, and it's on the back side of the skeletons, no one is going to see the back of these anyway. It's another reason why I went, went this way instead of threading it up. If I was going to, you know, if there's people going to be going down the sides of them, looking up, and you know, and seeing all the mechanics, I would have done it the hard way and just ran everything up through the bones. But this way, it's simple, easy, cheap. So... Welcome to Thursday. Uh, I didn't make it very far yesterday. We ended up having a family emergency. It took up about four hours worth of time. Not going to get into it. Nothing major. Everyone's fine. But I was able to get the armatures all painted up. Uh, I did not get any of the wiring done on the skeletons or on the lanterns. And we're going to be working on that today. And we'll give you some snippets of that once we get things done. Uh, we just went down and ran some errands. Uh, one of them was to Home Depot, and our Home Depot is starting to get their Halloween stuff out. They don't have it all out yet. But, oh, and our Spirit Halloween store is open, too. So we stopped by there. And, naturally, I bought some Halloween stock. <laughs> Let's get this truck open here. Uh, first off... I picked up four skeletons uh, to replace the four I'm using on the pillars. So that brings us up to 43 skeletons in the haunt. And then for the photo hallway, they had these here. Uh, some cameos, the eyes light up and the jaws move and they talk back and forth. So that's going to be going in the uh, photo hallway. And we got that. And then we got our replacement for the big kitty. This guy is 12 feet tall, and I'll be uh, bl uh, blowing him up a little bit later, and we'll give you a clip of him. 
but uh, he has a chain of purple lights in here that flash off and on like lightning. So we got that. And then I also picked up this guy. Of course, he doesn't have his horns on, but his eyes light up. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But that's probably going to be going in a walk-through mausoleum. And then another thing at Spirit, and we got that guy back there. Well, let's zoom me in. It's the uh, Harbinger. Uh, that's going to be going in our corn hallway. We've got a nook in the corn hallway for it. And then we also uh, picked up a bunch of these lights, too. I picked up about four of them. Uh, we'll be using them probably in the new photo display for the, for the uh, photo op area, in the clown hallway. And the wife wants to use them uh, for during Christmas, too, to add to our Christmas display. Yep, and see, she's trying to stay off camera, but it isn't working too well. It's definitely 12 foot tall. That's going to stick up past the height of our tents, which I want. And that should be very eye-catching, especially at night when the lights on the inside start going off. You really can't see it out here during the day. Okay, it's going on about 9 p.m. I am not going to have time to put these things into place on the pillars, wire them up, and do a reveal video. And as you can see, there's only one red LED. They're not really showing up too well in the dark. You can see the lights, but uh, we got everything wired up. I have one mini repair. Apparently, I broke one of the contacts in the LED, so I'm going to have to yank that one out on Monday. It's going to take about half hour, hour. But, uh, so next Monday, we are going all uh, either Monday or Tuesday. I'll have a small video all set up, and uh, we'll do a small reveal on the pillars all put together and working. So watch for that. But I've got my helper out here, who is very sick, to take a look at what's out on the grass, and we'll close the vlog out with this. Whoa! That is taking place of our big kitty this year. Wow, awesome. I like it. It's big, isn't it? Yeah. And it's purple. <laughs> and you and your purple. But see, look what he does. Oh, no, see, he's starting to flicker. Flicker. But 12 foot tall. I think that will catch people's notice, huh, Morgan? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you get back in the house. Don't want yeah. you out here too long and getting sick. So... We're going to close out the vlog, and we'll go sideways again. I know you're getting some wonky camera angles, but uh, we'll close out the vlog here while we're flickering and say, stay spooky and stay toxic. <laughs>